What's up you guys? Jedi Master Josh here and today we are opening yet another Celebrations Collector's Chest. I am hunting for the gold shiny Mew and I've been able to find these reprinted all over the place at stores lately and I've been opening them but I decided that I'm just not going to get the luck out of a reprint as I would from an original release. So this is actually a collector's chest from Celebrations from the original release of Celebrations that I got way way back in December or whenever it was that this released of 2021 I mean oh goodness am I I might be butchering that it might even be older than that now <laughs> but yeah so I, uh, I, I I got this when it released and hoping we can finally get this darned Mew I'm going to go ahead and tear into this thing and let's just start, let's just hope to goodness we can get Gold Mew or anything from the, the you know, Heritage set, anything like that. Now, there are also two other packs in here. I'm pretty sure that they're all, they've all been Vivid Voltage and Darkness of Blaze, if I'm not mistaken. It might be Vivid Voltage and Chilling Rain that were in the reprints. I can't remember exactly, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to find out. Now... When you get this collector's chest, you're going to also get these three promo cards to start off with. So let's go ahead and set that there. And we've got our three promo cards. we got Mimikyu, Light Toxtricity, and Hydreigon C, level 61. And uh, yeah, these are great cards. They're awesome cards to collect and hold on to, but they do not have competition play. They're not legal in competition play. I think it even says it on the cards uh, yeah, so down at the bottom, this card cannot be used at official tournaments. If you can see that, I can try and... Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm a little shaky. I have tremors. I, I can't stop shaking. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull these out. The packs are uh, obviously Celebrations packs, and it looks like we're going to get Battle Styles and Vivid Voltage. And uh, let's go ahead and showcase those so battle styles and vivid voltage and then there is a code card that comes with this collector's chest if you guys want that code card be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below and uh, you might get a reply on your comment of a code card so let's see what else is in this it's just a bunch of stickers a notepad and a mini portfolio so there's our stickers and our notepad there and then the mini portfolio, if you guys have seen these, these are kind of cool. I like them. They hold like 30 cards in them. And uh, you can just kind of carry around like a little mini portfolio of all your favorite cards. Let me actually put all this plastic back into this chest real quick so I can get this out of the way. And uh, we can start opening these. All right. I'm going to open the regular packs first here we have battle styles and vivid voltage we'll start with battle styles vivid voltage obviously i'm still trying to find a few different chase cards from vivid voltage you know hyper rare leon and so on and so forth rainbow pikachu i did finally pull rainbow pikachu if you guys have seen that video it's if you guys haven't seen that video it is titled it took me over a year to pull this card and I would highly recommend watching it. It's a, it was actually from a, a Vivid Voltage Reprint Elite Trainer Box. And I didn't expect it. It was the first one I did. And it just came out of nowhere and blew my mind. And that whole Elite Trainer Box actually had a bunch of amazing pulls in it. I was really blown away. I got Primate for the reverse and Phalanx for the rare. I think Phalanx is... I might have mentioned this before, but I'm going to have to say I think Phalanx is one of my favorite uh, Generation 8 Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we get in this Vivid Voltage pack, though. Hopefully we can get something good. I, I don't remember ever getting anything too crazy from the bonus packs in these chests, but let's see if we can change that look today. Nope, looks like we got another standard code card. But with a standard code card from Vivid Voltage, you can still potentially pull an amazing rare. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Say fighting energy. We've got water. Water energy. Okay. Zeb Strika, Excadrill, Nuzleaf, Milsery, Meowth, Chimeco. I just twitched like crazy hard there. Blitzel, Slugma. The reverse is a Whimsicott, and the rare is a Dreadnought. Okay. So I'm 
dreading that pack. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dread, nah. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, celebrations. We've got, I think it's six. Yep, six packs of celebrations. So, ooh, that one's upside down. We'll save that for last. Okay, celebrations. Let's see what we can get. Now, in my most recent one, I was able to pull a starter from the Heritage set. So, you guys should definitely check out that video. Uh, I won't tell you which starter it was, but if you guys want to leave your guesses in the comments and then go check out that video after this one. Uh, I think you guys, I think you guys will like it. I mean, I think everyone likes the starters, right? From first generation, right? Come on. <laughs> so let's see what we get from Celebrations. We've got Xerneas, Eveltal, Pikachu Full Art. Check that out, it's a great card. And then we got Kyogre, okay. So nothing too crazy. I will sleeve this Pikachu though, because it is one of the nicer cards from the set. We'll go ahead and throw that into a sleeve and pull him up into the pull pool. We'll go into our next pack of celebrations. We have five more to go, and I'm hoping we can get some some good some good stuff here. Like I said, this was from the original release of celebrations, so I'm hoping that maybe there's a little bit better luck on these packs, but we're gonna find out. So I'm pulling the card from the third slot and putting it to the back because that's where the Heritage Set card will pop up. So we'll go ahead and we'll see. We've got Zekrom, Reshiram. This next card is where our Gold Mew might be, but we got Zamazenta V and oh my goodness, there we go. We pull Venusaur and a Zamazenta V from that pack. That's amazing. Sweet. Gotta love some starter vibes there. And uh, certainly love Venusaur. I mean... I would, I, I'm going to have to say that Venusaur is probably my least favorite of the three first-gen starters, but I love them all, so it's hard to say that, you know? So we'll go ahead and put him up into the pool pool there, and it looks like we're not doing too bad. Two packs in. We've already got three nice pulls from Celebrations. I think that's the great thing about Celebrations, though, is it's like you just open Celebrations and it's always good stuff, you know? You always have a great time opening Celebrations. I can foresee Celebrations value just skyrocketing in the near future. So if you guys have some, I mean, maybe open it, maybe don't. I don't know. But all the code cards are going to look like that. So let's go ahead and slide that possible Heritage card to the back and see what we've got. We've got Ilveltal, Cosmog, Professor's Research, and Lugia. All right. So that one was a pretty, pretty, pretty basic pack. Just a, just a basic pack. But... I don't know if you could call it just a basic pack because every card in it is holographic. Actually, Professor's Research was not holographic, was it? Ooh. Hmm. Did we get ripped off? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I actually really enjoy Celebrations. Let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite card is from Celebrations. I'm almost certain you're going to say it's the Charizard, but uh, just let me know. You know, I, I, I like all of them. I really... I really, really like the Heritage set. There we go. We got another Full Art Pikachu and a Mewtwo EX. There we go. All right. Looking like this. Definitely happy that we opened an original release chest because this has been way better than the, the other ones recently. I'm going to set this next to our other Pikachu there since we've already pulled him. We might as well just keep him a little bit more off to the side. And then we've got our Mewtwo EX to add to the pull pool. That's awesome. We've got Pikachu, we've got Mewtwo, we've got Venusaur. There's a whole lot of Kanto vibes going on right now. The Zamazenta is just a little bit, a uh, little bit out of place. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what we get in this next pack. Man, I, now that I'm staring at that Venusaur, I sure would like to pull the Charizard. That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty cool. But let's see what we can get here. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna give you guys this code card. And I'll give you guys the last code card, too. If you guys want any of the other code cards, just make sure, like I said, leave a like, comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed, and you could possibly get a code card as a reply to your comment. We've got Solgaleo and Palkia. All right, so, all right, all right. Astral Radiance just released, by the way, too. So if you guys are, you know, getting into the Astral Radiance, make sure to let me know. But we do have our final pack of celebrations here. This one was upside down in the box, so maybe we should open it upside down. Let's open it upside down. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna open it upside down. Let's just open it normal. Let's not let's not jinx anything, right? Let's see if we can uh, 
pull something good from this last pack. Last pack magic, all right? If you guys, like I said, please do leave a like down below, comment down below, leave us some good luck, and do consider subscribing. It is free to make an account on YouTube. It's free to subscribe. Everything about it is completely free, and I would highly appreciate it. So we've got Lugio to start. Cosmoem. I'm going to pull the back card, which is a Groudon. And then behind Cosmoem, we have Professor's Research. Still looking for the gold shiny Mew. But thank you guys again for checking out this video, and I will see you in the next one.